Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I have gathered a lot of different posts from Instagram and I'm going to be reading them to you. So this is something I want to do. I remember when I just came to Chile, I was planning on doing vlogs, showing you the city, showing you the country, uh, showing you the food. Uh, and I haven't done that, and especially since we are in quarantine, I have stayed at home for over a week already. Uh, I I am lucky enough that I don't have to go out besides going to get some food or something like that. Uh, and that's why I have been able to stay at home. And also, the reason mainly why I haven't been doing any kind of vlogs uh, or anything like that. Um, so, I... I thought that we could do this more regularly uh, instead of making like a video with a lot of editing I could do this series where I read my Instagram feed to you guys like of course something related to something that you guys care about like today I want to talk about the coronavirus and also I want to explain more the situation in Chile for those who are interested um, but yeah maybe once a week or every now and then do this video where I just gather uh, Instagram posts and read them to you. So we could call it like Lucas reads Instagram or uh, Lucas Instagram's feed or I, I don't know guys, let me know your name suggestions for these videos uh, in the comments. Uh, so yeah, the idea is I do more videos uh, more often. So let me start with this. I have gathered, as I said, posts from Instagram and I'm going to be translating them so you guys understand more about the situation here. And again, I'm going to be talking about first the Minister of Health and the President. So this, this CIPER, uh, CIPER, I don't know if you say that, in, but the Center of Journalistic Investigation uh, is a nonprofit foundation uh, aimed at investigating it for the good of society. They were the ones who brought these to the light that uh, the Minister of Health had uh, deleted the waiting list, leaving thousands of people without any medical treatment. And also it said that all this costed uh, the public funds about 430 million peso, which is around 5 million US dollars. So... I remember this is the uh, the Minister of Health, he was in a hospital and the medical stuff in the hospital, Momo, I think she's fine, Momo, anyway guys, uh, the medical stuff, the doctors, the nurses, even the, the janitors of the hospital were all boycotting him when he went to the hospital, uh, they were calling him uh, murder with a, with a robe like these white robes that doctors use. Uh, the ex-minister, uh, he was minister in the past as well, he admitted that he uh, reduced that list, the waiting list uh, during the uh, Piñera's government, explaining that he did it be due to administration-related reasons. So, but yeah, he admitted doing it. Um, so, and then here... So, you see his murk. This guy is saying, let me tell you one thing. You don't fool with me. I mean, the protection I have is so strong that... And then he does like that. He, that's exactly... I just literally translated what he said. He was basically uh, threatening a journalist, telling him, Hey man, don't fool with me. My protection is so strong, you know. He's literally like a gangster, you know, and uh, he's still Minister of uh, Health in Chile. Um, even the mayor uh, of Rapa Nui, which is Easter Island, uh, called him, he's a madman, take him to a, how do you say, manicomio? Mental hospital. All right, sorry about that, my, uh, yeah, mental hospital. Uh, yeah, the mayor of Easter Island, and for those of you who didn't know, Easter Island is considered to be uh, part of Chile, but of course, they have their own language and culture, uh, so I won't call them Chileans. Uh, although, um, territory-wise, uh, they actually are part of Chile. 
And so uh, the mayor of Rapa Nui, Easter Island, uh, called the Minister of Health. He's a madman. Take him to a mental hospital. Um, all right, this is another point I wanted to talk about. Uh, and I want to know in your countries, how is the situation in your countries? So in Chile, I forgot to say this in the last video. In Chile, we have to pay for testing for coronavirus. And the price is something between uh, 50 US dollars to 100 US dollars, depending on your insurance. And um, I just knew that in most countries in Latin America and South America, uh, they test you for free. All right. And I'm not comparing to places like uh, South Korea or Europe where we have a different uh, economic situation. I'm talking about neighbor countries in South America where they all have free coronavirus tests for you if you go with symptoms and, and you want to get it checked. I asked here in Chile and we had to pay. And uh, actually, I think that's completely irresponsible from the government to let this be like this. And now finally, after people have been protesting against this, they reduced the cost of it uh, to 25,000 pesos, which is uh, around 30 US dollars, which is still a lot of money for people who earn uh, the minimum wage and not even the minimum wage, but just like people in the middle class. So yeah, please let me know in your country, is the test for coronavirus. Like if you go to the hospital and you say, hey man, you know, I have fever. Will they do the test for you for free or do you have to pay for it? Let me know in the comments. So, all right, here is what I talked about in the last video when the guy here, the Minister of Health says, what happens if the virus, let me use a word, becomes a good person? That's the, literally, the literal thing he said. Let me play it for you. Here's the comedian just like they extracted a part of this comedian saying like just shut up like telling him to shut up because he's speaking so much nonsense that people just want him to shut up and just go away like really the virus can become a good person. And of course, uh, memes starting to appear all everywhere uh, saying like, uh, breaking news, coronavirus becomes a good person. Uh, and they start making like uh, photos of it, like doing yoga uh, or helping like the coronavirus, helping a granny cross the street. Uh, things like that became memes uh, in, especially in Chile's, Chilean social medias. Um, uh, yeah, things like that, memes are starting popping out. But uh, yeah, that's basically about the coronavirus and uh, Chilean minister, some feed I got from some stories. Let me see here. So, um, oh, by the way, this is a uh, Hong Kong guy, 1988. Um, there you go. Drawn by Hong Kong guy. Guys, you can follow him on Instagram. Basically, I like, I really like this comic. Uh, just comparing condoms and face masks uh, for the people who are not wearing face masks when in the public. Basically, <laughs> it's very funny how they compare it. <laughs> I just like how it drew a smile on, on, in there. But yeah, uh, guys, wear masks if you're going out in the public. It's not so that you don't get the virus, but you might have the virus and not know until 14 or even 20, over 20 days later, you only will know. So even if you don't have any symptoms and you want to go out, please wear a mask so that you're not spreading the virus around. And um, even if, let me explain something, guys. People say, oh, homemade masks do not work because uh, they see some people with like clothes on their faces or like a... Uh, a, like, you know, handkerchief or a bandana on their faces. This works, all right? It won't... Let me explain this. The coronavirus mainly gets transmitted through the droplets that comes out of your mouth, all right? 
And basically having anything in front of your mouth is just a shield so that your own spit, your own saliva gets trapped in, in that cloth, that piece of cloth, all right? It can be a surgical mask, it can be a t-shirt, it can be whatever. It's gonna trap the particles of spit. When we talk, uh, little tiny droplets of saliva would just uh, fly around and that will get into people's mouths, eyes, even ears, all right? That's why you have to wear a mask so that your saliva doesn't float all over the place, all right? So even, yes, homemade masks also work to prevent you from spreading disease on other people, all right? So wear any type of mask, shield, face shield, or whatever in front of your face, all right? Thank you, guys. Um, and if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I'm open to debate, and if you, you don't agree that wearing a, a piece of cloth in front of your mouth works, let me know your reasons and you might change my mind. Hey guys, this video is getting a little bit too long, so I'm gonna separate it into two parts. So go check the next part, uh, it should be uploaded right now. And uh, yeah, thank you. Please make sure you tell me what you think about this format and uh, what kind of suggestions you have for future episodes. Also, if you are on Instagram, and there is a post about some topic that you want me to put in this Instagram feed, you can tag me on Instagram on those posts and uh, I will collect them so that later on for the Lucas Reads Instagram News or whatever we call this series, I'm going to read your the post that you tag me on and I'm also going to give you a shout out uh, during the video. So thank you guys, stay safe and I'll see you on part two. Go check it out, bye.